Many Indians are giving up their citizenship and the numbers are way higher than you might think. In 2023 alone, nearly 2.2 lakh people let go of the Indian passports. Does this sound huge to you? Hold your breath. And these aren't just random figures. This is data straight from the Indian government. This shows the strength of governance structure and systems that we have built over the last few years. And it doesn't stop there. भारत की ग्रोथ स्टोरी से जुड़ने का यही समय है सही समय है वाइट प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी से इट्स अ बेस्ट टाइम टू इन्वेस्ट इन इंडिया इंडियंस आर एक्चुअली सेंडिंग मोर मनी अब्रॉड देन एवर बिफोर इन द लास्ट डेकेड मनी फ्लोइंग आउट ऑफ इंडिया हैज एक्सप्लोडेड बाय 2800 परसेंट एंड विथ 10 इयर्स ऑफ मेक इन इंडिया बिहाइंड अस द रिजल्ट स्टिल फॉल वे शॉर्ट ऑफ द प्रॉमिसेस सो व्हाट्स रियली हैपनिंग Let me explain how. You know when we question those in power we are sometimes called anti-national. The thing is questioning those in power is one of the highest forms of patriotism. So if we question how successful make in India has been or why so many Indians are choosing to invest their money elsewhere it's an act of patriotism. If you agree with us then support our journalism. By the way if you're new here the news minute offers a subscription model subscribers get access to exclusive content ad free reading and in depth reports that you won't find anywhere else just scan the qr code or click the link in the description below i have given you a few options and that too without any consultancy fees in 2023 over 2.16 lakh people let go of the indian citizenship compare this to 2019 when 1.44 lakh people made the same choice in 2014 this number was just 1.29 lakh that's a 60% surge in the last 10 years the modi government says it's all down to personal reasons while that might be partly true there are deeper factors at play For many the appeal of a better job, better opportunities, higher salary and a better quality of life abroad might be a lot more tempting than what's available here. Friends, the option to invest in India are extensive. India invites you to invest in the hard work of our farmers. And it's not just citizenship. Indians are investing more of their money outside the country too. RBI says outward remittances from India have surged from 1.1 billion in 2014 to 31.7 billion in 2024. That's a 2,808 percent increase. This is mainly driven by high net worth individuals using the LRS. This is a scheme that allows Indians to send up to $250,000 yearly on education, medical expenses, property, and other investments. And here's where it gets interesting. The surge in remittances really took off after the 2016 demonetization. Ye safai abhiyan hai safai abhiyan. Because post 2016 deposits outside India shot up by a massive 790%. So where's all this money going? In 2014, Indians sent 59 million abroad for property. This number was 243 million by 2024. That's a 312% surge. Deposits abroad jumped from 1 or 3 million to 916 million and that's up by 790%. Investment remittances climbed from 315 million to a huge 1.5 billion and that's a 380% increase. Now let's look at what's driving this trend. One possible clue is in the Make in India initiative. While this was launched in 2014, it was supposed to turn India into a manufacturing giant. creating 100 million jobs and boosting industrial growth but here we are nearly 10 years later and the results are let's just say underwhelming we've all seen that lion statue everywhere right but is the results of make in india a roar or a whimper let's take a look at the numbers make in india aimed for 12 to 14% industrial growth every year but right now it's stuck at 4% Manufacturing share of GDP has dropped to its lowest ever since the 1960s. 
And instead of creating 100 million jobs by 2022, manufacturing jobs have actually dropped from 51 million in 2017 to just 36 million in 2022. Of course, COVID did have an impact, but the numbers clearly speak for themselves. FDI rose from 36 billion in 2014 to nearly 85 billion in 2022. That's good news, right? But here's the problem. Since then, it has been falling. It dropped to 71 billion in 2022 and just down to 10 billion in 23-24. That's a sharp 60% decline. And most of the FDI has flowed into services like IT and not the manufacturing boost that India was aiming for. Make in India was supposed to make India produce more and export more. In reality, India's exports have taken a hit over the last decade, dropping from 10.2% of the GDP in 2013 and 14 to just 8.2% in 2022 23. At the same time, imports from China are flooding in. You remember how at the height of Indo China tensions, TikTok was banned, right? But India still relies heavily on China for many essential imports, especially in manufacturing. India exports just under 17 billion worth of raw materials like iron ore and refined oil to China, less than it used to be in 2018 and 19. In contrast, China sends over 101 billion of high-value goods to India, like machine tools, computers, chemicals and plastics. Now, the data that I just rattled off was there for everyone to see. But did you see a report on this on any news channel? Instead, they just choose to blindly praise the leaders whether the promises are delivered or not. The question we have to ask, who are they really loyal to? Well, our loyalties are clearly to you because only you fund us. So become a TNM subscriber so on November 7th, you too can be part of our members editorial meet and you can meet the faces behind the stories.